In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to create a chatbot for your website. So, to get to chatbots, I'm going to go to Master Navigation, go to Conversations, and Chat Flows. Chat Flows are now used to be called uh, chatbots, and now they're chat flows. Um, so, essentially, to create a new chat flow chatbot, I'm going to go to, again, Conversations, Chat Flows, brings you to a list of all of your chat flows. On the top right, create a chat flow. You can create a live chat module, um, which would appear on one of all the pages that you choose, or you can build a bot that would help qualify your leads or book meetings. Um, support bots are specifically for uh, different services within HubSpot. Um, so this is great if you have the services package, uh, but if you're just on marketing, a qualified leads bot is great too. So I'm going to choose qualified leads bot and click next. And you're basically going to see very similar UI to what you see with workflows. Um, it's a pretty linear uh, format, but essentially this is the template that HubSpot gives you in terms of what you what the bot can do to qualify that lead. Um, so normally I like to just actually delete most of these things uh, because I like to start from scratch. Um, but essentially <coughs> the gist of it is is that each of these modules, these blocks, are questions. And so, for example, this nickname, this is the, uh, the name that this module is being assigned, called get name. Um, the message, before we get started, what's your name, is what actually the bot is going to say to the person. Um, and then whatever the user enters, it's going to save it to a HubSpot property called contact name. Um, same for job title and the other ones that were there as well. So I'm going to get rid of this one and then keep that one there. So I'm going to change, let's say, hmm, got any questions, I'm happy to help. We could change this to welcome to the website. Can I help you find anything? Question mark. You get a little preview of what it'll appear like on desktop and on mobile. You can choose to pop it open or not, or keep it kind of pretty basic with just this module. Same with mobile. You can actually just not show it at all. Um, or continue to pop it open. Um, let's see. So that's the new welcome message. And then in terms of get name, we'll still ask them for their name. And then I also want to, um, let's ask them another question. Let's ask them for their email because again, uh, email is very important. HubSpot is how all of the contacts are tied to specific browsers. So something simple what is your email um, obviously you can change it to be whatever you want I'm just gonna keep it simple we're gonna save it to the email property and then so that's that and then based on let's say I want to ask them another question I'm gonna actually make it a custom question and then I'm gonna do something like um, employee Count. So something like, you know, how many employees does your company have? Something simple like that. I can start typing in some sort of ranges. So we could do text if you wanted to, but because it's ranges, I'm going to do something like, you know, 0 to 10 or 11 to 20 or 21 to 100, something like that. So those are quick replies. I'm going to disable free text input so that they can't put in their own text. And I'm not actually going to save it to any sort of property. <coughs> so I have that. But then, you know, let's say I want to actually show something different depending on which option they choose. Um, so if I click on employee count and I go to if then branches, I can actually add an if then branch. So if any of the user's response is any of 0 to 10, then I'm going to create a new action. And it's going to be something like, you know, 10 employees is the nickname I'm giving it. And it's going to say, you have 10 employees. Again, that's not very complicated, but you get the idea. Otherwise, it's just going to send it to a team member. Um, I could also create another branch where if it's 11 to 20, I'm going to actually do another one where it is, you know more employees you have more than 10 employees save that that's there and so now you get to see depending on what the response is 
it would go to you know that response and you can continue to ask more questions because you now you know they have 10 employees or you can ask a different set of questions because they have more than 10 employees sorry if i repeated myself um yeah 10 employees and then more than 10 employees um <clears throat> otherwise if they don't you know satisfy any of these criteria they'll get sent to a team member which is basically at the end of the day right this is a qualifying leads bot um, so you want to eventually ask them enough questions uh, so that when they get passed off to something like an admissions counselor or, you know, a support team that whoever is interacting with them has updated information on who they are and maybe what their pain point is. Um, so you can continue to create branches as needed. Just know that as soon as you create your first branch, you're just going to, in order to see the actual branches, you have to go into each individual branch. Um, you can loop back around. So let's say you wanted to go to a specific action, right? So on this is our default page. You're not actually seeing this this zero to ten response for the ten employees. You can go to the top right, go to action. So you can scroll down and you can find the ten employees action and go straight there. This is really helpful if you're making a lot of branching logic uh, and you have multi multiple levels of of actions and paths. So this is a quicker way to get to those paths. On the left side, we have the who. So this is basically, who do you actually want to show this chatbot to? Is it going to be everyone, or is it going to be only to people we don't know, or only people we do know, or actually just a specific list? Maybe just SQLs will see this chatbot, or maybe just MQLs will see this chatbot, etc. When is really where. So it's just, you know, what pages is this chatbot going to live on? So if somebody visits the services page, they'll see this chatbot versus someone who goes to the home page will see this chatbot. Then options is where you kind of customize, give your chatbot a little bit of um, its own look and feel. So you can change its own icon to be something specific. Uh, so maybe a custom a custom bot icon. You can rename it so it's not Hubbot. Instead, it's you know DDBot. Um, you can uh, change the delay either based on the length of message. The longer the message that the, the bot is going to show, the longer the delay will be. Otherwise, each message will have a half second delay, which is 500 milliseconds. Um, the session timeout will reset after a day. So after a day, that kind of previous conversation um, that someone had with that bot will reset. And so if they come back before a day, they'll be able to pick up where they left off. Otherwise, it'll reset. For some reason, the bot is having trouble connecting maybe back to HubSpot or connecting to the person. It'll have an error response, the default language set to English, and then data and privacy consent for GDPR. Um, we're gonna rename this chatbot to the DD bot test. And then when, as you're building it out, you can preview it in the top right. And this will actually uh, do, can, it'll execute actions in real time. So in cases where you're interacting with it and what's your name, right? It'll be mapped. What's your name? What's your email? How many employees do you have? This will all appear in your inbox um, where all of your live chats and bot interactions are living. So anything you do in the preview will count. Um, and then in order to go live, you just go live. I'm not going to go live with this uh, for obvious reasons, but uh, if we go back to chat flows, I'll take you to the inbox. And this is where essentially you'll have a lot of these conversations um, across uh, all of your websites. Basically, as soon as you set up your inbox, um, each time that a live chat comes in, it'll show up here. You can even integrate with Slack so that your Slack account will be notified. Um, and all bot actions and conversations will be held here as well. And that's it for chatbots.